uh, fabric mouse. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick video, unbox one of these uh, Neckies. Uh, these are lovely little machines, nice heavy duty machines that have just come out for Neckies 100th anniversary. Uh, they've got a thousand stitches a minute, they're nice and, uh, nice and quick. They've got decent strong motors, it's remarkably quite a heavy machine for, for what it's like. Uh, it's got your automatic needle threader, it's got automatic buttonholes, it's got 32 different stitches, your top load bobbin, and marvellous. It's got an extension table, uh, which coming in at this sort of price range is a, is a nice little feature, so we'll get it out, have a look at it. First impressions, really nice. Uh, bring you over here, we've got really nice uh, LED light, nice bright white. Uh, it's not going to mess up your colours. We've got some really nice features, like we've got a nice solid mechanical... Uh, switch to set your needle position. Uh, as you can see there, you can have sort of left, middle, right needle position. Um, we've got pressure adjuster on the top here, like you get on your, your genome. It's fantastic for your dressmaking. Turn it up, dial it down for your thick or thin fabrics, and it puts the pressure uh, on your fabric to what you want to help it feed it through without resorting to a walking foot or something like that. Uh, you've got your stitch length here again really nice solid clunking buttons uh, that's what we like from a mechanical machine uh, stitch wise you've got all your stitches here uh, again really nice feel uh, lovely machine uh, we've got stitch width up here so you can set the width of your stitch as well as the length of the stitch uh, a lot of modern machines now you select a zigzag you get a zigzag whereas now with this machine, uh, you can you can select your zigzag. You can have it as narrow as you want, or you can have it as tight as you want. Uh, set it up yourself. Nice easy bobbin winder on the top. Uh, one of the initial thoughts on this is I really like is it's got an automatic declutch. So if we we're to turn the wheel, you can still set your needle to the right position. Your bobbin winder won't move. Whereas if you use your foot pedal, it spins it up but your foot doesn't, your, your needle doesn't go up and down so you've got no chance of catching something or spoiling something that's in so you can leave your garment in as soon as you go to wind a bobbin uh, it'll wind two seconds we'll, we'll get threaded up uh, put some stitches on it got a good idea of how it's going uh, one of the other things to mention we haven't talked about is down here we've got your full extension table now this extension table I much prefer to a lot of extension tables we see. If you look at it, there's just no flex here. Uh, it's got adjustable screws on the bottom, uh, which allow you to set your height exactly to your table. But that will take a lot of weight, I'm pretty sure. I could probably even sit on it myself. Uh, that is a, a lovely work surface. You've got this nice stainless steel bed, so your fabrics aren't going to stick. Uh, obviously, same, your nice top load thing, and then if you've watched any of my other videos, you know this. It's one of my biggest bugbears. Uh, but the needle threader, pull it down there, and you can let go of it, and it doesn't spring back. So you can do this needle threader one-handed uh, instead of having to drop everything, uh, which is kind of a bit pointless. Uh, but that'll stay in place until you're finished, and then you kick it back, and it returns. Uh, so it's got the one-handed needle threader. It's got the automatic. Uh, buttonhole, it's got an extension table, we've got really every option of changing your stitch to exactly how you want it. Uh, it's really tough plastic. To be honest, this is it's shaping up, uh, shaping up to be one of my favourite machines at the minute. It's actually really nice. Wound up. Uh, I've just done half your bobbin already. Just wanted you to hear this. This is a lovely, lovely sound. It's a really solid fast wind even feed bouncing up and down giving you a really even really even filling on your bobbin first impressions were looking good right let's get this over here so we can try and see some of what we're doing as we don't have anyone to hold the camera at the minute because of our worldwide situation uh, nice Nicely wound bobbin. Let's put it in uh, through our bobbin window. Oh. So we've got that extra foot lift on this machine as well, a bit like the genomes again. 
don't know if you can see that from there, but we've also got a quick set bobbin feature, uh, which is sort of the way we thread it. You just bring the thread around this channel, uh, and it will set it exactly, uh, set it exactly in place. Oh, and it's got a thread cutter to cut off the exact amount of thread you need to start sewing. So another nice little feature, uh, putting all the niceties in here. All right, let's get the machine threaded up. So we're numbered. We've got a one, a two, a three, four. Needle up five. That nice little bar there. We've got one on the needle there that isn't numbered, uh, but. Can't get everything. Needle thread of there, lovely. Little loop at the back. Yep, just as you'd expect it. Put her on. Right, I've got some really nice denim here. Uh, it's quite a thick weight denim, and we're gonna fold it over and give it a proper test because let's face it this machine is sort of pegged has been uh, works on heavier weight fabric such as denim leather canvas and corduroy so let's give it a proper go we're gonna sort of do quite a few layers here just to test what it's like so we've got two layers oh let's go over to eight so that's a really nice thickness uh, thickness of denim there has only just got the standard needle in. Um, we haven't put a denim needle in, but we should be all right. Uh, best increase that stitch length uh, to do that kind of thickness. Cut this down to a straight stitch. We've got all that in, no problem. Uh, put it down. We have got a set button on the side here that you can level your foot off and keep it flat. Uh, but as we're not going to go over seams or anything, it's sort of level, we're just going to leave that. Uh, wow. That's not skipping a beat, and if you look at that, that is an extremely thick piece of denim. We'll go through that. Uh, the stitches are lovely, a bit hard to see them because I've used a variegated, but nice and tight, you can pull that part. See if we can play around on here and use some of the other stitches. That's where the real test comes in. Let's try one of these. Tighten that stitch right up. Still feeding it there. And we're even getting a lovely pattern stitch coming through your eight layers. Now that is a nice, nice machine. Well done, Necky. Uh, celebrating the hundred birthdays in style, just beating us by two years. Uh, if you didn't know, we've our shop opened in 1922. So. We've survived a war and hopefully we'll survive a global pandemic. Lovely, both sides. I don't think you can see there with the light behind. Both sides there, we've got decorative stitch in the front. We've changed uh, stitch length as we stitch width and length as we go through to get the stitch tighter. Uh, that is doing a lovely stitch on eight layers of denim. We've got them in stock, they're available for next day delivery. Uh, 
get one ordered we'll get it out to you and i'm sure you'll be very happy with it because i'm very impressed thanks a lot